Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I don't want to be kind of just making boring videos. Um, now that I don't have work, you know, to do some maintenance on my car since I didn't have time before, since I was working all the time, but now, you know, because of the virus and everything that's going on, I'm gonna have a lot more time to uh, do some stuff. So today I'm gonna be trying to fix the fuel uh, sending unit. Um, it the ga hasn't been reading the gas gauge correctly all the time, which is super annoying. It like reads a quarter uh, lower than what it really is. So I think when I'm a quarter about to run out of fuel, that's when you're out of fuel. So I'm gonna go in and take it out and mess with the, the leveling sensor. And hopefully that's what it is. If not, I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Um, I might be also replacing all the rotors and brake pads today and um, I guess we'll kind of see what you know transpires after that so I'll see you guys out there Let's get in the car. In. Right. so what I'm talking about is um, so it's reading about there right now so technically it's really half but because i the leveling sensor is like all messed up and whatnot um it's reading more than what it really is and i and sometimes this needle even kind of jumps like to where it's actually the fuel actually is at then it'll go back up so i'm gonna mess with it and maybe it's stuck on something hopefully it is and then i can get to fixing that and then that would be great i guess we'll kind of find out right now once i get back in the back seat and start taking everything apart so i'll get back there right now all right, so I'm in the back seat right now. It's so small space because I have the coupe, but um. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking out the seat. There's like some clips holding it in, but I think you just pull up right there somewhere. It's like this. There you go. Seat belt right there. There's the carpet, and I'm pretty sure it's underneath the carpet. So, I'm pretty sure this is the fuel sending unit right here, which maybe an eight mil right there. So I'm gonna have to go grab that. On this side, figure out how to, oh, same thing. I have to disconnect the fuel pump so fuel doesn't start spraying everywhere when I t uh, take out the fuel sending unit. I don't think I'm gonna take it all the way all the way out. I'm just gonna take it out enough so I could uh, mess with the sensor. So I'm gonna go grab some tools and I'll be back. All right, so it turns out it's a 10 mil. So I'm gonna go ahead and... All right, so pretty much it was the four screws, you know, lifted off, that's that. I'm pretty sure it's a fuel sending unit. This is the actual fuel pump. I did the same thing over here, took out those screws, same 10 mil. And now I gotta disconnect one of these, so I'm gonna double check which one it is. So I can disconnect that so I'm not getting any fuel spraying. And I'm gonna turn on the car so I could get all the fuel out of the lines. So then I can disconnect this without fuel spraying everywhere. So I'm gonna go check out how to, or which plug it is, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I figured it out. It's both of these connectors. So I'm gonna take this one out. And also this one. Okay, so I disconnected those. So I disconnected that, and I gotta start the car so I can get the fuel pressure out. The key. Okay. Turn. Should be good. All right. And I'm gonna go get some cloths real quick. Okay, so now that I got that done, I'm gonna loosen this up by putting, you know, a flathead right here in one of these and just hammering it till it starts turning. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I had to go and try to buy this tool to unlock it because it was just literally destroying these little tabs. So hopefully this works. I'm not sure if it's exact fit, but this is the only one they had. But to get this off, you have to like push it in and then this will push in and then you pull out. So I'm gonna do that right now. What you don't wanna happen is <laughs> fuel to spray everywhere. I had to drive it, so that's probably had a lot of fuel pressure built up still. So I'm gonna clean that up with the rag, get it all clean and then start taking off the hose. 
All right, so I got it out after fucking with it for a half a But this pretty much goes on one of these, you know. And then you just twist it off. We had to use a pry bar to get ours because it was fucking, these things are way too big. But this is the only one they had in stock. But it worked. Got it off. No problem. Um, definitely, I recommend going and buying one of those because trying to hit it with the hammer, you end up breaking some of them. And it's not even worth it. It takes so fucking long. And these things are so, like, really, really good on there. So, yeah, go buy one of those. Um, and it'll get the job done a lot easier, a lot faster, too. Start taking the fuel pump out. I'm going to clean this real quick. I'm going to take the fuel pump out and check the, or not the fuel pump, sorry, the fuel sending unit. And then I'm going to check the leveling sensor and see how that is. Hopefully, that's the problem. So, I'll check back with you guys. So, now we're going to take the top hat off and try to see if we can get to the fuel sending or the leveling sensor without actually having to uh, fuck with the list. So, this off. Oh, I think this is disconnected. It is. Look at that. This piece is disconnected from that. So, this is, I, I technically, you need to, that should be on here. You should be able to pull that up and take the rest out. So I think that is our culprit right there. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get this out somehow. This is the leveling sensor. So maybe if I can just... back together and buy a whole new assembly broke which I think it is it really makes sense unless it's how it's supposed to go so this piece this is like the leveling sensor I think so like I'm pretty sure it goes on like this somehow but it doesn't stay on so if I have it on right now sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand if I have it on right now it will just fall right back off all right guys so pretty much the problem is definitely uh, that leveling sensor is broken off fully it doesn't want to go back on it whatsoever it just keeps falling right off falling back into the fuel so I'm gonna end up just putting it back together and uh, putting everything, well, not completely back together, just enough to where I could drive it again. Um, the guy who replaced it for me the first time, luckily, luckily, it, it was like a long time. It was two years ago when I first got the car. I didn't even know how to work on this car whatsoever, but I know a little bit of things now. So luckily, he was nice enough to say, yeah, you know, I'm going to message the guy who I got uh, the part through and see if there's a warranty on it or something like that. And uh, if not, I know another guy who's selling a used one for 60 bucks. So I trust him um also so i'll update you guys as soon as i know so this is going to be on pause for a little bit but i'll catch up with you guys hey guys so i got a new pump or center unit i'm gonna try to take this piece off what's well, not new it was used i got off a of buddy um sold me this one i'm gonna try to just do this first i'm gonna take this piece off because this is the only piece that is missing it doesn't have that clip that's inside there and that's why we can't uh, why it doesn't stay and then take the floater off and then this piece should just slide right out so it's gonna stick a flathead inside there pull it back and then this should slide off so there was that and then this should take that one off that's it it's the only piece we need that's the piece that's broken i think so try to put this on, put the other full level and sensor on here and see how that goes. Put it in there already. So I'll move this out of the way to show you. Um, so it's not falling off no more. It's going right in there. Move this back. I literally just, the way I took it off is the way I put it back on this one. So I didn't have to remove the actual pump or anything because it was coming out just fine. Get this out of the way and it just goes right in there. Um, I'm gonna put this piece on there. I'm gonna put that piece on there, button it up, connect those again, start it and check the fuel level. And hopefully it should be lower now. All right, got everything buttoned up. Uh, I just only need to throw in the seats. That's the only thing I have left, but 
let's check where the gas gauge is at so the last time i've been driving so it's been like a a day or two since uh i last filmed when we last checked it and i had uh, drove in a little bit so i think it should be around like this area or even there but let's find out hopefully it worked and there it goes <laughs> Honestly, it makes me so happy because like right here, that that's when I would be out of gas. That's when I'm like, oh shit, I'm out of gas now. Now it's uh, where it is and it just bugged me. There's nothing, it didn't do anything bad to the car. It just really bugged me trying to like figure all that out. But now that I got that set, I'm pretty happy. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Car is running great. Uh, there's no stuttering or anything like that. And if there is, it's probably because I need to replace the coils and spark plugs. So, you know, coil spark plugs, uh, new clutch is going in because the one I have right now is slipping pretty bad. Um, but I have it. I got the 335 IS clutch flywheel and then I got a rear main seal also to do. Get that in. I'm going to do uh, coils, um, spark plugs, and then uh, tires. And then after that, fuel pump. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it for maintenance wise. Uh, maybe a valve cover gasket, but. I think I might hold out on that for a little bit because mine's not leaking and then, um, I mean, it's good preventative maintenance, but uh, yeah, we'll see kind of where everything takes me. So that's gonna be all for this video. I'm glad you guys came and watched the whole video. If you stayed this long, please like, comment, and subscribe and uh, let me know some feedback at. I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.